Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6 of Behind the Design. Today we are touring you through the Chateau Blanc. You guys have been waiting for this and the pictures we've posted so far have been so well received. We're really excited to share this space with you. It was created for the most precious family. They were so much fun to work with. They had really great design style and we can't wait to reveal all of the beautiful features in this home. So stay tuned. We're going to do a multi-series on this to make sure we cover all of the details for you. Today, we're gonna to start with the front entry, mudroom and powder room. As you walk up the front steps to this home, you see a gorgeous wood front door with beautiful side lights. When you enter the space, you're greeted by a two-story vault, which is really open. It's a very grand feeling and it just sets the tone for this beautiful home. We have beautiful furnishings in this entryway, a really nice colonial style bench with a high back. This design really foreshadows what you'll see in the dining room. There's also a beautiful bluestone console table and a stunning oversized mirror that really takes advantage of the high ceilings in the room. As we go down the hall, we're greeted by wonderful architectural features. We have these really beautiful white oak beams. We did a custom whitewash finish to cancel out any of the pink tones in the white oak and just really warm it up and tie in with the hardwood flooring. We also have gorgeous Hudson Valley flush mount light fixtures, which add that really anchoring bit of black that you need in a space. We created a custom barn door for the mudroom. We used white oak material, cut it in planks to mimic the hardwood floor pattern and clad it in m -Tech hardware, which is really heavyweight. It feels really nice to the hand and it just is the perfect way to top off the custom door. The mudroom is located right off the garage and has gorgeous south-facing windows, so we get a lot more natural light spilling into that room. We have floor-to-ceiling millwork so that everything can be concealed behind the beautiful custom shaker doors. And we have more brass m -Tech hardware throughout. We really like to mix up the hardware, so we've used a combination of the district knobs with the longer pulls, so that just creates a little bit of interest and gives a more custom feel to a space. We used a open white oak cabinet where we roughed in USB plugs. So this acts as the charging station. So when everyone comes home, puts their coats away, they can drop all their tech devices in the basket and get everything charged up and ready for the next day. Next, we transition to the powder room and this room is just so beautiful. I love all the design details in here as powder rooms are a really great space to be a little bit more brave with the materials that you use and add a little more pattern as it's a small space and it won't feel overpowering. The first feature you'll see in this room is the gorgeous ship flap. We changed up the typical style by running it vertically and using two and a quarter inch wide planks, which is much narrower than conventional ship flap. We designed a gorgeous antique furniture inspired vanity that uses white oak turned columns, has open shelving, so it's really a piece of art as well as a very functional item in the room. It's topped with a Cambria quartz countertop in the Britannica warm color. This is a stunning marble pattern. It has really nice warm grays, soft brassy tones, and that ties in perfectly with the wall mount faucet, which has a ton of curvature and really softens the space and adds that artistic appeal. The floor tile is a really nice patterned detail. It's from doll tile, so it's a full body porcelain. That means the color and pattern runs all the way through the tile. So if you ever chip it, you don't lose the pattern. This is just one of the ways that we're providing high quality materials to our clients for a long lasting space that looks good 30 years from now, just like the day that they moved in. Well, thank you for coming along. That's part one of the tour. Hope you guys gleaned some farmhouse inspiration from these spaces and stay tuned for what we have next for you guys on the Chateau Blanc.